Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So, I regularly post videos on some of these older power jack units because I have the luxury of seeing basically everything from disaster to perfect come through here. And whether it's broke or not, I still inspect it and load test it, etc., etc. And uh, so I come across some pretty neat stuff, some older stuff. This particular inverter here is a 10,000 watt inverter from 2015. Now it uses the classic uh, aluminum torpedo style of um, chassis here. Um, I am so glad they changed the design of the inside because wow, these things are a pain in the butt to actually get the main boards out and back in because they use insulators to keep the main board from shorting against the case. And yeah, getting all those insulators lined up is a pain in the ass. It really is. So I'm glad that they changed that part of it. But anyway, so this is advertised as a modified sine wave inverter. And when I picked it up, I said, damn, this thing's really heavy for a modified sine wave inverter. And uh, so, of course, I open it up and lo and behold, I find... The guts of a pure sine wave inverter. This is a low frequency pure sine wave inverter because you've got your toroidal transformer right there. And what's other another interesting part is that they actually put an extra fan in here to help pull air across. Now these are the early days of them trying to figure out how to keep these cool because they overheat. This particular unit came to me with uh, two blown uh, MOS boards. And I've been load testing it for a while. It's fine now. Um, but my guess is that the uh, the customer didn't actually have the uh, fans on. Um, and the secondary fan, you could almost consider it to be like... An early prelude to the lid fans that they use today that started, uh, what, last year. Um, because these fans are actually identical. All they did was mount them inside the chassis to help pull air out of it. Now, if you look at some of the um, uh, the, the bigger units, the, the, the 15K and the 10K units that are in the long chassis they actually have multiple transformers usually running in series and they have fans in between each one of those um using this main board style here which was pretty common for the 12s 13s 14s and 15s is this style of main board it wasn't until 2016 when they started to actually uh redesign them to be modular so anyway, um, this is just kind of an interesting find, I guess. And so I thought to myself, well, maybe they're doing something to make it modified, which would be kind of ridiculous. But looking at it, there's no way that it's a modified sine wave inverter. In fact, I'll go ahead and power it on right now so that you can see it. it runs at about 1.2 amps at uh, 14 volts. But... Uh, the sine wave is indeed pure. I mean, um, it's a pure sine wave for sure. Uh, so yeah, I, I, uh, a little baffled by this. This might have been a mislabel. It's possible that they mislabeled it. Um, but just based on the, the heft of it, I knew that it could not be a uh, modified sine wave inverter. Uh, so kind of interesting to see this that fan up there is is you cannot control it uh, manually um, It's just a basic basic fan in fact You can't control either of these fans on this unit. It actually counts on that thermistor there as well as a hefty one two three thermistors on the transformer I guess they kind of went overkill to try to keep this thing cool rather than just apply a switch. Which, if you were to short these two contacts out between there, it would activate this fan for sure. Um, likely, 
shorting out those would activate this fan back here because this one is likely the main fan and then uh, yeah I, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the same these two here would activate the fan if it got hot enough so anyway uh, just a neat little thing kind of quirky it does work fine I mean it's it's a fully working inverter you have room in here to add a whole nother transformer or you know go for a long uh, long style main board, uh, you know, there's a ton of room in here, there really is, and uh, so, you know, well, it is what it is, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to share that with you, I like sharing these old inverters, uh, I think they're pretty cool, kind of looking back to see how far they've come versus today, um, the, mod the modular system was definitely the biggest thing that they could have done for their inverters, there's a lot of times when I just have to replace a low frequency driver or a power source board can't do that with these old ones you gotta replace the entire board so definitely a, an improvement in the system so hey if uh, you have any questions let me know this is a very unique inverter 10,000 watts labeled as modified sine wave but it's actually a pure sine wave um, in this uh, aluminum chassis so pretty pretty neat little thing there uh, again genetreesolar.com take care